Welcome to another episode of Discover Harmony Florida. I'm Kristen McCary and I'm here with your host. Janine Corcoran, broker for Corcoran Connect, a real estate company. And so we're going to start this new series. Um, we may change the name in the future, but right now it is our resident spotlight. And I love that. Yeah. I love that because we don't have a whole lot of you know businesses to spotlight. We have some, but not right. a lot. And so just, you know, picking different people and interviewing different people, I thought it would be kind of fun. Yeah, absolutely. So we started with um, Stephanie Milfeld, and she owns, um, she's a resident of Harmony, and she owns Z and Q, which is located at uh, 1037 New York Avenue yep. in downtown St. Cloud. And I love Z and Q. If you haven't been there, it's this really cute children's boutique. Um, they do have some older um, girl clothing as yes, well, like, te- like, you know, tween, teen clothing girl which is really nice uh really cute good quality stuff really good quality stuff um that's you know slightly more modest than what you would find in you know your that that transitional period from when they go from like 10 to like 13 and you're like they're still a kid but everything else is too grown up like perfect spot for this she has great bathing suits right now Mm -hmm. um i love that they're like reversible and like and so cute and what what is the name and we're gonna we're gonna show you we actually jenny went out and interviewed her um but what was the name of that really cool bag i don't know listen it's like a cult <laughs> i'm giving a for... look like <laughs> but okay so you know on crocs you put the little the charms. gibbets yeah oh, they're called gibbets yeah apparently i never heard of that anyway you either right q gibbets no gibbets anyway i call them charms yeah, you can tell when i'm born I was, yeah. you know you stick them in your yeah. you know olivia stick them in your shoe. yeah, yeah. Well, it's a similar thing, but it's the um, big bag, which you'll see on the interview, which is kind of cute. And I actually bought two of them that day. Yes, you <laughs> Not did. for me, but I gave them to uh, two of our top producing agents and, yeah. for the first quarter. So, and they love it, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, and I like it too, because you could like, you know, it's great for kids with sports. You know, you could put like sports stuff in it. You can wash it out, like literally like hose it out. Um, great you know, to keep in the trunk of your car. Yeah. Like carrying groceries in, in one trip, you could just pile them all into the thing and, you know, take it. So anyway, it's really cool. Um, it's a big thing for the today's mom. Right. And apparently. they have, and they have really funny charms too, like dog mom and yeah, you know, all anyway, kinds of, you'll, you'll see on the video. See. So, um, but, but so without further ado, we will introduce you to Stephanie with Z and Q boutique. Hey everyone, I am in downtown St. Cloud, Florida, and I'm standing next to a business owner, Stephanie Milfeld, and she's the owner of Z and Q Children's Boutique. And so Stephanie, tell us a little bit about how long you've been in business and why you decided to open this business. So we have been open for almost four years this July, um, and we decided to open because there just is not a lot of children's boutiques or stores around St. Cloud other than our big box stores and we wanted to focus on giving back to our community so all of the brands that we carry in store um, give back to a cause community or organization. So tell me a little bit about the organizations that you give to. So personally Z&Q gives to um, Osceola Education Foundation and their gift for teaching program. I didn't know that. Yeah so they have a school supply store at a gift for teaching for teachers who teach at Title I schools to replenish their classrooms. And then we also donate um, extra clothing and stuff to Help Now Osceola, which helps victims who are leaving domestic violence situations. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so for those people who do not know who Stephanie Millfield is, give us a little bit of background. Um, So I grew up in Osceola County. I am born and raised in Osceola County. Mm -hmm. I graduated from high school here. I am a mom of two girls, Zoe and Quinn, which is why it's Z and Q. Um, I am a wife to a firefighter paramedic. Who just got a promotion. Who just got a promotion, (laughs) who's now captain. And um, yeah, I volunteer just like every other mom, PTO. Really? How do you have time for that? (laughs) I don't. But (laughs) But you do it. But we make time. And, um, you know, I just, I'm the Uber driver to my kids' activities. And they're not driving yet? (laughs) <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have those cars that like you put the kid in and there's no driver and it's automatic? Have we, you know, like the celebration, that little thing? You know, no. I wish I had something like, like no, that. No, 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 that'd be good. That'd be good. So Stephanie, um, maybe we could talk a little bit about of, uh, you know, how you s- uniquely serve maybe the people of St. Cloud. And- so I am also part of the downtown business group. Oh. Um, and I'm on one of uh, their board there. And so I help with a lot of the downtown activities. I'm on the downtown monthly market committee. Uh-huh. So we help with organizing the events in our area and getting people into our local mom and pop shops and our stores and showcasing um, local vendors and just helping 
people grow and you know open up hopefully their own brick and mortar. And so the downtown monthly market, that's last Wednesday of every month? So starting. last Wednesday of every month. Um, we do it June and July are only for vendors 21 and younger. So we call it our young entrepreneurs market. That. And then um, we take a break in August and we bring it back in September through the holidays. So. It starts at five? Five to nine p.m. Um, and there's food trucks and music and vendors and stores open late, so it's a good time. Wow! And how many vendors are at most of these events? Do you know? Um, over a hundred for sure. And right now we're kind of uh, Pennsylvania Avenue and Tenth Street are going under construction, mm -hmm. um, so we're kind of dealing with that at mm -hmm. the moment. But um, definitely more than a hundred at every event. Wow, I love coming to it every month. And actually, we switched our our monthly uh, our monthly office meetings because we used to have them the last Wednesday every <laughs> month. And I switched it. I said to everyone, "No more. You're gonna go to downtown event because I think it's great. It's so much fun." So, Stephanie, what is your uh, top selling item if you have just one? Um, I would say either our swim diapers. Or our Simply Totes. Those are probably our top two sellers. The, the one I just bought? The one that you just bought. <laughs> the two, yeah. I actually bought two. <laughs> yeah, because the, the totes are, you know, you can just rinse them out with the hose. They're durable. They hold all of the things that you need. So those are really popular in the swim diapers because they're reusable and they fit six pounds up to 36 pounds. So basically until they're potty trained, it's a must have for a Florida baby. You know what I thought you meant when you said six pounds to 36 pounds? What? Uh, like holding six to 36 pounds. Oh, no, not holding <laughs> six pounds. I hope it does not, it did not hold That's that That's what much. I thought. I was like, wow, <laughs> I don't even know they measure that. Anyway, but yeah, the kid size, yeah. oh my gosh. And what are those things on the Simply Totes? So it's like the Crocs, you put the little pin in. Oh yes, yeah, so they have little charms. charms. So, so yeah, we have, charms? yep, they're okay. just uh, tote charms. And so they have some that say like, hot mess or mom or- mm -hmm. Mama bear, you know, Mama I like that Mama bear, one. just lots of little things to kind of just make your bag unique from other other people. So when I was in the store, I was looking and I actually saw the little um, charms. Well, they're big and, and I actually, I was so excited about it and um, I didn't know what they were and that's how I got to know the bag and now I'm walking out with two of them. Thank yeah. you very much. They're, they're <laughs> definitely a top seller and you know, once people see them and they're like, oh, I gotta have this. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, what could you say to people? Why, um, why, why choose St. Cloud to move to? Even though St. Cloud is growing, I still feel like it has that small town feel. You know, you still go to the grocery store and run into people that you know, or you know, even coming downtown, it's just a family. If, if I can't find something for you, let me find who has it so oh. that you can, you know, if I don't have it, then go over here to Pennsylvania Avenue or oh, there's a store down the road. You know, everyone is, is here to help each other grow and to you know flourish and, and there's room for everybody. So I like that. It's not like you're all competitors. Oh no, it's definitely collaboration over competition right. and you know we all are all, all here to succeed and to help one another. And so you're familiar with everyone else's merchandise and so some Yeah we try in. to be. Yeah. yeah. I mean there's there's not a lot of overlap in merchandise and um and if you know, we offer like we offer a discount to Savvy Sweets when you shop with us, yeah. and you know, there's you're just always trying to send people somewhere else the that shops. they might not have seen. So, Stephanie, aside from your business, what is the one place that people coming to St. Cloud need to check out? Oh, that's a hard one. I know you want to give the whole so list. There's so many good like restaurants and stuff downtown that mm -hmm. are just unique in their own. Um, so that, but I would say shop DK because they have lots of like home decor. So like if you're moving to St. Cloud, you always, I feel like when you move, you want to like redo parts of your house that mm -hmm. maybe you want to change from, you know, your old house. And so she has like house plants and um, planters and like lighting decor and rugs and comforters and just oh, fun okay. things okay. like that. And what, is that on New York or is it on um, So it's street? on 11th Street. 11th Street, mm -hmm. okay. See, I didn't even know about that shop. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you, Stephanie. We appreciate you um, coming on our podcast today, Discover St. Cloud, Florida, and we just we'll continue to shop here, whether yeah, we have so. children or not. <laughs> we have grandchildren, and mm -hmm. um, just yeah, I mean, so many unique things in the shop. When I walked in, I, the, one of the things I said is, I want to be a little girl again, because look at all these cute little dresses and stuff like that. But um, We do carry a lot of boy stuff, too. You do, oh, you do but. carry. But you know, girl stuff is always so, so much it's cuter. Fun. Yeah. yeah. All, the, all the little 
little wooden toys, you know, they've been cutting vegetables and so they got passed yeah. down to my niece, the you know, two year old. That's the great thing about wood toys, they're so durable. Yeah. That yeah. They last. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to keep them, you know, for myself, but anyway. <laughs> so Stephanie, before we close, um, how can people find you? I mean. So you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Z and A and D Q Boutique. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same on both Instagram and Facebook. We do live sales once a month where you can, you know, shop from your couch in your pajamas. Um, we're also open seven days a week downtown, so you can come down anytime. And so for, it's funny you said the live, because I know you had just recently did a live and you had mm -hmm. great success. So yeah. um, what advice can you give to other business owners to do the same type of thing? Um, I would say try it and don't be overwhelmed because <laughs> it, was a, it was a lot to take in at first, but it was fun. It was, like, even though you're not like physically interacting with people, like, it's kind of like a party. It's fun. And you, ha you got sales from that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. So people are in their pajamas at home. There was one mom that was like, I'm listening with an earbud and tucking my kid into bed at the oh same time. Gosh. And like, <laughs> you know, great is that? multitasking, shopping, and, you know, doing their stuff at home. So. Now, most of the shoppers here, are they local, do you find? Or are they? Um, most. Most are local. Yeah, yeah, so it's word of mouth and getting out mm -hmm. and social, you know, letting yeah. them all know. So, wow. Well, there's nothing like this around. So it's very unique and um, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's a great <laughs> shop. So come on by and visit. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Did you think that was a really good I, I, you know, again, I love Stephanie. I think she's really awesome. First of all, I don't know how she sleeps. She just oh, does, she does so, so much. much. <laughs> so much she's like, on the board for the you know whole downtown uh yeah. sinclair market every month and yeah. she's just such a great job she I mean, does she's a, she's a shaker and a mover and she's young yeah she is and and i i love that like i love the ideas that she gave people you know like in businesses like it you know go out there and try the lives like you know for the live sales that's been a really big hit for her um yeah. you know she's really working hard to kind of bring um you know events and uh eyes down to the downtown st cloud businesses really just trying to get everybody down there to um participate and to you know bring more traffic because downtown is great um it, they're, they're doing a fantastic job i mean i love all the little restaurants we talk about those all the time um but stephanie is awesome she takes on so much. And wait, um, let me give kudos to her husband, Patrick, okay? Because oh. <laughs> after, we, after we did the interview, Patrick was helping. You know, it was his day off, and um, he was helping. And then I needed, I needed some um, gifts for a couple of the men, you know, in our office. So Patrick walked me next door to one of the soap stores or, you know, and I mean, and he's saying, well, I really like this line. He, and he was literally selling their product to me, which was right. so funny. You know, he's yeah. like, I was like, okay. So I ended up buying something next door in that store, too. And again, keep it local, people. Yeah. What's a, what's a hashtag? Uh, is it keep so, it local or buy local? Yeah, buy local. Buy local, I think, yep. is a hashtag. But anyway, yeah, so we try to do that, try to support the local businesses. Yep. And, I, and another thing I love that she talked about, too, was, like, they kind of try and, and you know, not that everybody's expected to know um, what every other business has, but I love that, like, the downtown community, that they, like, have a general idea. And so if somebody comes in looking for something, they're like, you know what, I don't have it, but... Oh, you I can do. go they check out each like, other's products. Yeah, so I like yeah, that. I love That's that really too. cool. That's yeah. really cool that you they're all like. Can't find it with me, but go next door. And, right, yeah. right, or check out on Pennsylvania or yeah. whatever. Um, That's great. So it's it's really awesome. So I'm <clears throat> super excited. A very uh, like a more like a close knit uh, business community. Right, which is honestly a lot like Harmony is. Right. Yeah. Like very, you know, it's it's really cool. help each other and yeah, 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 yeah help so everybody great. grow. So well, maybe because Stephanie lives in yeah, Stephanie lives in Harmony, she kind of brought that over there. Who knows? But anyway. Yeah, but so that's great. So. Anyway, so if you're in downtown St. Cloud, if you have um, kids, if you have, I mean, it might be a little too late for Easter, but, uh, you know, the next holiday that comes up, they have great stuff. Actually, uh, my nephew, the, the youngest one who's like 18 months old, just loves the toys there. Um, so that's, that's really cool. So, um, definitely go and check that out. And he's totally not 18 months, is he? I was like, I was going to say, did he turn like two last December? <laughs> he did. <laughs> I'm so Shh. glad she made the mistake. I hope, I hope Vicky's not watching. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <I'm> so sorry. <laughs> That's the best. I'm terrible at age. Um, but anyway, so. She's great with numbers, though. I know, really great with numbers, just not apparently ages. So anyways, I could definitely go check out Stephanie at Z&Q Boutique. You'll see her yes. um, around the mm. Harmony, I'm sure, in the pink golf cart with the Z yes. and the Q in the name. So uh, check them out. Yeah, but I call it family. the Barbie golf cart because she has two girls. So yeah. yeah, I'm like, you know, I always tell Patrick, I say, oh, you look so cute in that golf cart. And he just laughs. <laughs> He's surrounded by girls. That's awesome. Great family. So anyway, yeah. so thanks 
so much, Stephanie, for allowing us to interview you and yes. spotlight your business. And um, if you have a business in Harmony and you would like to be featured, um, definitely reach out to us at one eight four four Corcoran um, or email us at discoverharmonyflorida at gmail dot com. Um, and I think we're going to kind of make our way through the Harmony Life magazine too, kind of picking on some. Oh yeah, you have to. We have to spotlight use, those yeah, businesses. Yeah, absolutely. That, that we already know yep. and love. So anyway, thanks so much for joining us, and we will see you in the next episode.